Now I do need to start the video by saying that the video, this video isn't sponsored. I paid for the wheels, tyres and wheel nuts on the car myself out of my own pocket. Welcome to the reveal of the new wheels on the Mondeo. Now hopefully you can hear me alright today because it's really windy out here. Now when I got this, Mondeo, this fantastic Mondeo, it had these wheels on it. Not the best, made by Wolf Race, 5 spoke, 17 inch, very low profile tyres, absolutely horrible. Couldn't stand them, didn't suit the car at all. So, went on the hunt for new wheels. Now, when I was looking for the new wheels, I did spend some time looking online. I did Marketplace, I did Flea Bay, I did all the normal places. And the price of wheels have shot up recently compared to what it used to be. Certainly the last time I bought a set of wheels, I would normally be able to get a set of wheels with tyres that had good tread on them for around about a couple of hundred pound. The ones I was looking at online, though, I was interested in uh, the, I think, the Ford ST S-Line 70 inch wheels i was interested in those ones because i was told that the only wheels i could fit to this car would be a 17 inch wheel owing to the fact that it's got a st170 brake conversion on the front so it's got the bigger discs and the bigger brake calibers however when i went down to pay a visit to one of my local alloy wheel specialists they checked the car out and said that it looked as though there was enough space to put a 16 inch wheel on so went inside had a look at the selection of 16 inch wheels was offered the possibility of the black ones or a similar wheel but in bronze and i was debating the idea of the bronze but when we put the black ones up against the car and eventually tried to rim on it did seem to set the car off very well now the price i paid for these absolutely fantastic the price i paid for these compared to what i was looking at online set of rims only i was looking at online were 485 pound that's just for the rims and then of course i'd need a set of wheel nuts to fit i'd need a set of tires to go on as well so i was going to push it very close to a thousand pound for a set of wheels i don't think so now they were absolutely amazing uh, i got a, the full set of wheels as you've just seen plus the tires and a full set of wheel nuts on there for less than 600 pound now you can't argue with that brand new wheels dedicated ford fit brand new tires new set of wheel nuts all around all for less than 600 pound you can't say fairer than that uh, plus the fact the staff in fox hunters tires are amazing you know, with such a laugh absolutely brilliant so if you need any alloy wheels or you need any tires and you're in the whitley bay area head down to fox hunters tires and it's always a good price there and the staff are absolutely amazing and these are what i came up with now these are a fox wheel 16 inch proper tires with some tire wall multi spokes look absolutely amazing on the car better a lot better than the previous ones were i think they're pretty much six by 16 and this is how they look on the entire car now doesn't that look better than it did with those horrible wolf race 5 17 inch five spokes on previously they really suit the car with the black accents on it and the darker windows they really do suit the car and set the car off nicely and it drives a lot better as well now judging by the looks of it it has been lowered in the past by a previous owner but we are getting there with it. I'm going to leave it lowered because it does drive very well, uh, especially those new wheels and tyre combination on there. But it's, uh, it doesn't scrape on anything. There's one speed ramp I've been over so far that the exhaust seems to scrape on a little bit, but I'm not going to concern myself with that one. The car's looking absolutely wonderful, still performing brilliantly. Uh, there's a couple of things I need to do on it. I'm still looking for parcel shell strings. So if you know where there is any or you've got any, get in touch. And I still need to sort out those horrible sockets and the arrangement they've got on the front indicators. Because for some reason, somebody previously has put a set of sockets in from a tail light so i've got twin filament bulbs in the indicators which is playing havoc with the electric so i need to get those sorted out so we're getting there with the car the tailgate struts are on tailgate works perfectly now i just need those one or two other little bits and pieces that i told you about and then i think we'll be pretty much there on the car a couple of bits of trim inside i need for the door handles and that but we're getting there it'll soon be back in amazing condition not that it isn't already but it just needs those one or two finishing touches anyway that's all for now Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye for now.